Hi, good morning. You'll see I've got a slightly different backdrop today. Uh, we've been decorating the craft room. Still a lot to do. I've got to get shelves up and things like that. But you can see I've got a slightly different coloration, which I'm really pleased about because I think the other one felt a little bit too dark because that had previously been my uh, daughter's bedroom. And so it's not been decorated for absolutely years. So it really needed it. But anyway, apart from that, today what we're going to be looking at, yes, we have issue number two of the Disney Dolls House. So I'm going to be doing this top down for you to have a look at. Uh, I'll pre-warn you now. Yes, I'm useless at instructions. I know somebody commented that I should follow the instructions. You're right, but you know, I've got to 55 and I still don't follow instructions. I make sure things are right. I double check things. And sometimes I do feel instructions are there. Yes, they are. But there is the odd occasion that perhaps those instructions need a little bit of modifying. So I trust myself. So these videos are not about full how to, it's about how I do. Um, so it's a little bit more fun. I like to think because I do make mistakes. It's what's and all. I let you see my mistakes um, to hopefully stop you making them sometimes. So I'm going to have a bit of fun doing this. So as I said, we're going to go top down and we'll have a look at uh, me probably making a bit of a bodge, but we'll see how it goes. So I will see you in a second. Well, here we are with issue number two, as I mentioned, obviously it says there, issue number two was six ninety nine. As I mentioned previously, it will go up to nine ninety nine. I've decided I need to sort my subscription out, but I had to wait for payday, which is today as it turns out, so I can get my subscription done for this. Because I think, I hope when we look at the magazine, you can still get the freebies, etc. on that. You usually can for the first few editions at least. And as it says, create your own doll's house. Oh, you can't read that. Fill your doll's house with Disney magic. This is perfect for the Disney fan. As I've mentioned before, though, it is not a toy. It does say this is not a toy and not suitable for children under the age of 14. And also mentioned before, there's 120 issues. We've got a siren going past. He's gone. Um, so it is Hatchet Part Works. Now, I get the impression, obviously, we can get this in the UK, but I know I, put, uh, I had a couple of people from the US put comments saying, oh, I wish I could get it. So I'm presuming it's not released there. Perhaps it will be. Um, I've got a feeling it was produced in Tokyo because this is, because I know there's some videos out there and I've, well, I've only just recently saw them, actually. I didn't see them before, but they were done like a year or so ago. So I'm presuming it was released there before it was released here. So we're going to get into this and I'll just sort of chatter as we go. This is the noisy bit, remember. So we have to get the scissors in, I think. Otherwise, we're going to get crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. As I said, my videos are warts and all. So if I go wrong, I go wrong. But hopefully then you won't. that's that bit that's our magazine that's just a piece of paper and card again i know i showed this before but this is an image of what the actual completed item is going to be and oh what comes next we got some winnie the pooh stuff next uh, it says with your full length mirror honey pots and front door frames so that's quite cute they're really cute it's the accessories to be honest that have sort of got me hooked more than the actual house I love little bits and pieces. So on the back there, I've got the magazine upside down here, but that doesn't matter. We have a Fantasia poster, one of my daughter's favourite movies as she was growing up. Absolutely loved it. So we're going to have a little quick look. Oh, here we go. Yes, there's still a subscription offer. So I do need to check that. It says, yeah, issue three uh, you get and you get issue four free, actually. You get a cutting mat, which I think some of us must have already got because I've seen a few people with a grey mat when they're doing the work. So that would be nice. It would look quite nice on my table for doing it as well. Um, oh, issue four looks nice. That that looks really nice. Again, I'm just obsessed with accessories. So there are other things. And again, if you do certain different types of subscriptions, you get different offers. Have a good read before you make that decision because it is a bit of a commitment, but you can cancel whenever you want as well. So that is also good. So you, it's a commitment if you want to finish it, it is. But if you do decide, oh, it's not for me, which is sort of a shame. That's what I'm worried about. You sort of get halfway and then you go, oh, but then you've got all that work you've done. So really, if you're going to commit, I'd have a good think about it because nine ninety nine per week, remember, it can be quite a lot of money for some people. So we've got instructions, obviously, which Naughty Me doesn't read properly. Um, there's all little bits. We've got a little bit about Mickey. 
Oh, a little bit bad. Dumbo Dumbo so gorgeous. So, really, I ought to pause it here and have a read at these instructions. I might do that. So I'm going to have a quick look at the instructions and come back to you in half a second. Right, I'm back. I have had a read of the instructions and I would definitely say definitely read the instructions because there are a few things that like, suddenly I realised, oh, I need a craft knife, for example. I also could do with a cutting board, which I'm going to actually... I have a cutting board, but uh, I'm just thinking I should get it. I should get it. Bear with me. This one is so tatty because it's had paint and oh God knows what on it. Um, because obviously we do all the crafting in the house. So look at the state of that. Um, might use the back of it rather than the front of it because it's got glue on it as well. So I definitely need to do the subscription so I get a nice cutting board, don't I? And I must only use it for these products. So this is what you actually get with this month. This month, I was going to say that's wishful thinking, isn't it? This week's. We have the linings for these doors to make them more detailed, to make them nicer. We have a little bit of sandpaper. We also have some tweezers. Let's have a look at these tweezers. They're pretty sharp. Look at that. They're they are delicate tweezers oh and they are they, they, these feel like they're quite nice quality tweezers actually um they'll be useful for other projects that i do so the tweezers are nice we have a little mickey because we've got to have mickey we've got to it's a disney house so we have a mickey mouse there i know i mentioned before i'm not that bothered about the figures it's not something that but it will look quite nice in the house so i'll pop him to one side Put the little guard back on those tweezers because they are sharp, so don't lose your guard on that. We have a little bit of sandpaper. So you've got everything you need apart from any glue. I'm presuming we should have had some glue left over from last time. I know I added some glue to the windows um, because I felt they were not secure. And in my experience, sometimes with PVA, you, you do sometimes have to add that little bit of extra. So we've got got a good couple of sheets of sanding paper there so that's nice i'll pop them there and then these are the little bits and pieces we've got i've got some pva glue here anyway this is just some cheap stuff i think this was from the pound shop but it is actually quite a strong glue so it is quite nice so let's have a look i'm going to sort of say sort of try and behave and have the instructions in front of me here and we're going to take out these pieces so we have a piece there that looks like that's a solid piece. I don't think I should be messing with that one or that one. Now, if you look, I'm just going to turn the page over so you can see it. If you look here, these parts are not actually used to go around the door. These are for sort of the later project. It does say that the show, uh, photo shows parts that you have assembled as well as unused parts to be installed later. So I'm going to in fact, I'm going to keep that page open a minute and let's have a look at those uninstalled parts this time. It's those two. If I can get them out of the box, that is. Making an awful noise, but I don't want to tip the box because it's going to be crackling enough as it is. Um, those two. I think it's just the very thin bits we're using today. Those two, I'm just sort of matching these up. And then we have these little guys. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let me have a check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's number six? Where are you hiding? That's number six. It's folded over. You can see these have got like a little tiny ledge either side. So the six of these, plus as you can see, we have four items there and that they are actually for a later project. So I'm going to pop them to one side because we don't need to worry about those today. But you do need to make sure you keep them safe, obviously, because when you come onto the later projects and you've lost them or something like that, you're not going to be very happy with yourself, are you? So these are the little bits that I need the cutting tools for. Now, I don't really like using knives, um, so I am a little on the clumsy side. Now, as far as the doors are concerned, on the image, on the outer door, you're going to be doing a cream, cream outline. So an edge all the way around each part. For the cream side, 
you're going to be doing the blue one. So I think the best thing to do is decide which side of the door you're going to be doing. We only really need to do one door for you to see. Um, so we're going to take the one door here. It has glued quite well. I know I did, like I say, added a little bit of glue there, but luckily with PVA it comes off. But I personally felt that that didn't feel secure enough. So I just made a conscious decision to actually add a little extra glue. Like I say, right or wrong, that is a decision you would have to make when you come to doing it. So as I say, we've got to do these edges. So we need cream first. So we'll pull all the cream bits out. They are very delicate, so you do need to be quite careful. Oh, there we go. So these are the pieces that you have for the cream. And obviously, because we've got two doors, there's going to be two for each. So again, I'm going to divide them up. So we'll need one of them or one of them and one of them for one door. And this is going to be for this one and the blue, obviously, for the other side. So on the instructions, they have taken a long piece of this. And can you see we have these tiny little lines here? We've got a little bit extra bit stuck there. I'm not quite sure what that is. And we've got to try and slit across those. So you do need to be careful doing this. And let's say I'm as clumsy as I don't know what. So I'm hoping my blade is going to be sharp enough. Oh, oh can you see what happened there? Because I pressed a little bit too hard. It's sort of sort of clicked and I was worried then that it might snap it further along you don't really want this to snap you're not going to be painting it so you do need to be careful keep your fingers out of the way I say I'm really nervous about cutting things that's the only thing I think I'm going to need a new blade on my exo blade uh, no we're okay we're okay it's not actually split because of that lump that's going to cause a bit of a problem so I'm gonna to have to go across that a couple of times Hey, it is going, it does go, but it sort of pops, so it sort of frightens you a minute because you think it's actually uh, broken it, but it hasn't. Oh, right, I'm hoping that's okay because can you see there's the angle each side? So these are actually going to be divided up, but I've not got to that bit, so I'm not gonna, not gonna worry. I had a quick panic then that it did actually snap, but I think we're okay. It's a balsa wood uh, that we're cutting through, so it is soft. It is a soft wood, but uh, it's also a wood that splits. It's commonly used in a lot of doll's house making of things. There are a lot of kits out there. So can you see what we've got now? We've got these little bits. This is why we've got the sandpaper. So we have the main part, which does need a bit of sand in. I'm looking on both sides of it. Yeah, I think hopefully I'll just be able to sand that down. It is painted wood, though, because you can see the colour of the wood underneath. And I'm just having a little nosy just to double check that I've done that right. It is. I'm pretty sure it is. I hope it is. Because basically, as you can see, we've got this long bit, which I think is just holding everything together. And these are the little pieces that are going to, obviously, that's for that size. Can you see how they would fit? Um, and these are for sort of that length. So that is sort of for the bottom part of the door. And then you can see we have these longer bits. So um, you're going to have to persevere with me while I do this. If you want to fast forward now, this might be a good time. Um, which side do I cut? This is where I get nervous again. Ooh. Well, as I said, perhaps if I make a mistake, it's actually these are popping a little bit better. I'm hardly having to put any pressure on them. So this is good. This is good. That's all right there. Right. Pretty sure these are just holding strips by the look of it. Um... So I'm going to just pop them to one side. If they're not, I can pull them back in. And then we got that. So I think we need the one more. I suppose these would have been so fine to actually put in on their own that they would have, they'd have got ruined. Am I cutting on the right side? I'm not. Oh, make sure you do. Can you see? We have a very flat side and then we have this slightly beveled side. I'm cutting on the beveled side. It doesn't, let me just have a double read at this. Hold in the piece firmly, put the fingers reinforcement, da da da, and gently cut with a craft knife. It doesn't actually say um, whether it's sort of wrong side or right side. I found the bevel sides easier to cut, so. Even though it does this strange clicking noise, which is terrifying me, that it's splitting and it's not. It's not, it wasn't that scary. But we do need to do a bit of sanding. So I think I might do a little pausey time again. We'll have a look at the pieces that we've got. I mean, to be honest, you don't even need to do a knife with them. 
you can see they're the long side so if you imagine you've got one two three don't risk doing that use your knife if i break my own i break my own i don't want to be responsible for somebody else breaking those so if we just said that there we go so you can see they're not lined up i know but you can see how we would have a panel for this section and a panel for that section so i'm gonna again we're gonna pause you're not gonna actually see this pause it does carry on but just to let you know i'm gonna sort of stop it there i'm gonna do a little bit of sanding with this sandpaper they are both the same grit as far as i can feel they don't feel like there's a finer or a solider i just want to get rid of some of these ends can you see there's just like little bits look they come off really easy you don't have it's not like you've got to do a lot of sanding and um, we need to then make sure it fits and I need to get my glue ready, which I'm just going to pop in, use this as the base for my glue again, like I did last time. So I'll see you again in a second. Right. Problem. Be careful. I decided to be clever and try and hold these with these. Sand in, thinking, oh, great, don't have to get my fingers involved. And it, one of them has just flicked across the room and I have at the moment temporarily lost it. So I've had to pinch one from the other side of the door. Ah, so I will look for that after because obviously I'll have to sort of pause the video too long, etc, etc. So we'll forget I did that. But lesson learned, don't use the tweezers because these are so tiny. They just sort of like flick up. So be careful with that. So they do say to, to actually check that it fits okay because in case you needed any extra sanding. So we do have to get these in the right way. Ugh, heart speed, the right direction. So let's have a little look, see how these are going to fit. So that's that side. Check that's right. Again, the tweezers are good for this, but be careful. <laughs> they're flicking the air i'm just going to do that approximate because when i glue it in it'll hold it yeah i thought so because can you see that is now a little bit too long to actually fit the next bit in let me get those tweezers in can you see it's slightly longer at the end i'll just try and pick it up so you can see it doesn't quite fit into that corner but again that is why we have the sandpaper so we need to remember which corner it is and we just carefully just take a little bit off at a time don't do it all at once because otherwise you'll end up with it too short and if you end up with it too short you are going to be stuck so let's put that back in this is why you check it before you glue it right i need a little bit more off and what I'm going to do is I need to keep the angle the same though. So you've got to be careful when you're doing this. So I'm going to take a bit off each side and then I'll hopefully keep the angle at the same position. Do we fit now? You know, it's, as I know I say do it bit by bit, but I, I, I'm such an impatient so-and-so. Almost there. It's almost there. So I'm going to... Let's take a look. It's a terrible noise, isn't it? Hope you don't mind the noise. Make sure you're not sort of catching the wood or splitting the wood anywhere. Oh, you're going to fit in now, are you? Yay! We fitted in. So that's all it takes. A little bit of sanding to make sure it fits. And the other side. The other side fits. It doesn't need turning over, but it does fit. So we have a long piece for this bit. Because don't worry if you're thinking, oh, but they should be for the bottom bit. Because that's the same width. So it doesn't actually matter. So I could actually take another one. None of them actually fit. They are all a little bit long. So again, sandpaper time. Close your ears if you don't like it. I don't like it myself. Um, but it has to be done. Oh, so close. That one definitely needs tipping over, but I say it's not been glued, so it doesn't really matter, does it, at the moment? It's just to see whether it actually fits in. Tiny bit more. So watch that angle, because if you lose the angle, I'm sort of like on the paper. You can see the angle of the actual corner there. I'm trying to keep it almost identical to that corner. So be careful, because if you put too much pressure on it, you'll change the shape. So keep trying it, only do a little bit at a time and keep trying it. Got to 
be almost there it is it's there so we're going to do the same with the bottom bits obviously these are the tiny sides so let's see how it fits now that is really weird considering it's the same width and that one fitted in um let me get the right side you can see there's also a little bit of shaping on this so it needs to be the right side up so take your time and have a look how it's fitting that was okay these side ones Nope, oh, that one's a little bit long. Let's see whether the other one's too long as well. Turn it over. Yeah, so you can see both of those are a little bit long. But I think, to be honest, when I stuck that, I stuck it a little bit high. So that's probably my fault. Let's see if that makes a difference. Nearly. A little bit more. I'm going to take it off the other side as well to make it to make sure it looks even still not quite this is a job you should be taking your time on obviously with the video i'm sort of speeding it up a bit have a look at hatchet's own videos they've got their own videos um, which obviously are going to give you more detail if you are wanting to do this and you're wanting to sort of really study it because it is worth having a good look at it. I'm not going to complete this in front of you guys because I do need to take time. I also find, need to find that other piece I've lost. Oh, I'm terrible for that. I have all these beads and bits and bobs all over my craft room floor because they just sort of flick up um, and pro probably never to be seen again. So... I'm hoping that this isn't going to be never to be seen again because this is going to be a little bit hard to replicate. I could do it with a bit of time because obviously I, I have these spare bits of wood. But again, that's not something you guys are going to want to watch. I'm going to have to sort of fiddle about. I'm hoping I'm going to find the bit. I know approximately where it's gone in the room. But uh, because we've been decorating, as I mentioned, it's a little bit chaotic. All my dolls are in boxes on the floor there's, because there's no shelves up because we've been repainting them all. So everything's a bit of a mess. So I'm just hoping it's not landed in anything that's there that's a bit of a mess. Oh, come on. I actually might take it off that bit. Because corners, obviously, if you've got a corner, obviously we have to match up, yeah? So that's the whole point of the corners. So I'm going to take a bit off the long bits as well. This is definitely something you need to take your time doing. And you need to make sure they're sitting flat as well. That's what the tweezers are there for. I mean, because I'm just checking the sizing here. I'm not overly worrying about the tweezers until I come to gluing. That's that one in. That's the one that's a bit tight. But as you can see, I think that's the one where I went a little bit wrong. But hopefully that will stop you going wrong. Yep. It didn't really matter. It's the corners, whether it's be the, whether it feels like they're the long bits or the other bits are the long bit. That's not really the problem. You've just got to keep them the same. Right way up, because we need that little sort of shape in. Oh, come on, you got to fit in there. I haven't got a clue what that accent was about. I know I've seen a couple of other people do videos and they've done them, they've sped the videos up. I can see why. Um, because obviously you, you don't necessarily want to watch all this. Oh, you're not playing, are you? A little bit more. The thing is, I don't take too much off because if you take too much off, as I say, you can't add on, can you? So you do need to do it bit by bit. will fit that will fit yay so the thing is we need to do a tiny bit of glue in now as i say i am not doing the whole thing for with you guys because you don't need to see it because essentially that is what we do with the cream on the pink side and we do exactly the same with the blue on the other side and again it's time consuming because you need to make sure you're doing it right so i'm just popping a little bit of glue in this tray and i will just do this one side with you 
and then as i say I pop over to some of the other videos um some people have done them like speeded up videos so you can sort of see a time lapse which is quite cool um obviously hatchets have their own so have a look at what other people are doing as well because i said mine's a little bit warts and all isn't it but uh, that's what i do best right so we've taken all the little bits this is where the tweezer comes in perfectly but again if you like me be really careful because it'll flick up and we're there at the end right let's have a look so it said try it out make sure it fits and then obviously that is what the sandpaper is for if it doesn't and so we need to get hold of these and they have to be you can see it hard to perhaps see on the video but there's a little slope here and that needs to be on the inside of course so we can work out where we are gluing it's going to be this under bit and this bit we can see that's raw wood anyway so i'm going to try and hold it with the tweezer and i'm just going to pop a tiny bit of glue on there i'm scared of holding the tweezer tight because when i held the tweezer tight when i was trying it before that's when um, it went flying. Right, I'm going to say that's one piece. So I'm going to try and fix this one piece in with the tweezers, which will hold it into position. Now this is fiddlier. Well, perhaps it's fiddlier for me. Perhaps it's not fiddly for you. Everybody's different. Come on, you need to go over there. Now we have a little bit of extra glue there i didn't have my tissues with me this time so i'm just going to use the tweezer to push it into place just hold it for a second it is balsa wood so don't press let me move that up a bit so i'm pushing it in but it is balsa as i was saying so don't press it too hard because it's soft it's very very soft and you'll put a hole in it now next one little tiny dinky ones on there but i might put the top and bottom in first and i think it's easier then to squeeze it in so again choosing which is the right bit if you've ever done it in your house you know approximately i'm going to hold this with my fingers i'm just going to put it in with the tweezers that is completely up to you it depends on how sort of clumsy or not clumsy you feel you work it out but i would make sure you've got an area that if it does flick out you can actually uh retrieve it quickly unlike myself we don't want any spare bits of wood i'm just making sure we've got that angle right there i have just blowing that in a second and let's check oh i've got a feeling i might have put that in the wrong one mark it out perhaps Ta -da, that'll do me if you've got a very fine brush, if say if you did catch it or something like that, you could paint these. That's not what they're for. They are for to be ready made. So I'm just going to glue on the bit that's got the bare bit of wood. You have to be patient with your gluing as well, because obviously it's a PVA, so it takes a little bit of time to dry. So the tweezers sort of help but not greatly for me like then i can pick it up with the tweezers to push into place yeah I'm trying to make up my mind you see this bit you see i've got a tiny gap there i think this one here is probably from one at the top so let's get one that actually fits in properly that's a bit tight so there is a slight variation and it's going to come down to sort of how you previously uh, put it together so everybody's going to have a different experience with that oh see what i mean how it flicks out so be careful I think, as I say, I can see why somebody did it as a time lapse because this is something that is, it's, it's fiddly. It is fiddly. But if you enjoy your crafting, look at that, that one's jumped out as well now. Behave. Behave. It is something you'll enjoy taking your time with. Yes, I'm going to put that one in there. So that's for the bottom bit. And I'm going to perhaps try something a bit controversial here. I'm actually going to put my glue on this bit. 
see if that helps. So I say instructions are there, but everybody works differently. Um, so, you know, if you see somebody else doing it a different way, it's not necessarily wrong. It could be wrong, like I've gone wrong there. But, you know, just try it first. Take your time. You do it how it works for you. And then hopefully it's going to come out beautiful. There we are. That one's slotted in. Okay. Double check this little one fits in before I glue it. It will do nicely. Right. Anything is when it fits in tight, it's hard to get it back out then. I don't know whether it worked better gluing the base or whether it worked better gluing the actual piece of wood. I don't know. You'll find your way of doing it. And I'll just get into trouble again. Don't want any glue on that pink. So again, PVA, if you let it dry, it does actually sort of just sort of, if you very gently rub it, it will come off. There we go. Make sure it's nice and clean. Perhaps not the most perfect joins, I'll admit that. So I'm not going to do too much more because I want to do it and make sure I do do it nicely because this is ultimately a project for me to have on my side to look nice. So I don't want to rush it. But you can see the idea of some bits on it uh, of what we're doing. And again, this is going to go round this side and when we do the blue on the other. And that is all this project is this time. It's just lining the doors. It gives it sort of that more detail, sort of a nicer edge there. But definitely take your time and make sure you get them nice and neat and nice and sharp um, for you to be able to make your house look gorgeous. So thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> I did go wrong. But as I say, read those instructions. Even though I read them, I still went wrong. You do need a few tools. This is a brilliant set of pl oh, pliers, I was going to call them then, uh, tweezers. You do need a sharp knife as well, but please be careful with those fingers. Because I know it says it's not for children, but I would still take my fingers off. So you've got to be careful whether you are an adult or not. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get this done. So this will be done ready for the next video. Um, so you'll see sort of the finished item there. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're getting on with yours nicely and I will see you very soon. What are we on? We've done about 30 minutes there. So I think you're probably fed up with me now. So I will see you all next time for issue number three for Little Pooh Bear. See you later. Bye bye for now.